Hi everyone, I'm Karen and welcome to our English learning series for beginners. So in this video, we will be focusing on how to talk about yourself as introducing yourself is a great way of starting your English journey. So let's dive in. Let's start our first lesson. And the topic is how to talk about yourself. This is a key moment in your learning journey as we're going to use a couple of very simple structured sentences so you will feel much, much more confident speaking English. The first part of self-introduction should be a greeting. There are a couple of options how you could greet a person like hi, hey, or hello. It depends on how formal or informal you want to look. Next one is providing your name. Let's say I am Karen or my name is Karen. Next one is your age. Telling a person your age. You could say I am 30. So, um, this is very, very important. You couldn't say just I 30. You need to say I am 30. I am in your actual age. The next one is your location. So originally, where are you from? I am from Armenia. I am from Brazil, the profession. The thing that you are doing, for example, you could say I am a teacher like me. And also, this is very much important part. You should always use a or an, depending on the next word that comes. I am a teacher. I am a doctor. I am an engineer. Great. And the next thing that you would like to provide about yourself, the things that you like or dislike. So, for example, you say, I like music, I like books, I like dancing, and other stuff as well, and dislikes. For example, I do not, or let's keep it short, don't, I do don't like cold. Actually, I really don't like it. So, okay, these are the key things that you should, should provide about yourself to another person to make it like self-introduction. And so, I would highly recommend you to practice this more. These sentences are very, very simple, but they could help you a lot in your learning journey. So, do not hesitate practicing. As my teacher once said, practice makes perfect. So, if you want to be good at something, you need to do a lot of practice. These are great examples how you could start your English. And I am going to help you with that by asking you questions. But it's going to be our second part of the video. Okay, so now I am going to help you with this part as well. Let's imagine that we are in a conversation, that we are meeting a new person and what the things that you need to ask first is the first one, as I mentioned before, is giving your name, right? So how do you ask that? You should say, what is your name? My name is Karen. I'm Karen. What's your name? Next one, how old are you? I'm 30. How old are you? Next one the origin or the place that that person comes from. Where do you live? Or where do you come from? I live in Armenia. 
I am from, let's say, Paris. Next one is the profession, right? What do you do? Or what do you do for a living? I am a teacher. What do you do for a living? And the last but not least, the things that the person likes or dislikes. What do you like or what do you dislike? I like music. I like dancing. I like reading or some quiet places. That's how you could ask and get the information you need from the opposite person. So, let's go to the next part of our video where I will bring my friend and introduce her to you. All right? So, let's go. So, finally, guys, this is the last part of our first video. And this is an introduction, but of one of my friends whose name is Lily. So, let's call her out. Hey, Lily, come over. Come here. Don't be shy. Come on. So, now I'm going to introduce Lily to you. So, we're going to start from mentioning, from telling her name. This is Lily, or her name is Lily. She is, hmm. let's say, 23 years old, mm -hmm. right? And she is from Russia, let's say. She is an actress. And finally, let's get to the likes and dislikes of Lily's. So, Lily, she likes movies. She likes theaters. And the things that she doesn't like. Spiders. She doesn't like spiders. Okay, so guys, why did I invite Lily to help us out with our lesson? Is that you need to practice these introductions in your real life, like in your everyday life. You can introduce your family members, your friends, your colleagues, and what whomever you want to. It doesn't really matter. As I said in the very beginning, one of the most important parts of learning anything, it doesn't really matter, is that a language or some kind of profession, the, one of the most important parts is practicing. So, practice more so you will feel much more confident in what you do in your life. And congratulations on completing our first video. I'm, I feel amazing and very thankful that you are watching this video right now. So, as it said, I'm your host, Karen, and see you next time.